So let's look at an example of how we're going to solve an ideal gas law problem. We've got a sample of gas that has a pressure of 0 0.850 atmospheres. It has a volume of 1.25 liters. Its temperature is 345 Kelvin. And we're asked how many moles of gas are present. And our value for the gas constant is 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres over mole Kelvin. And it's this value right here, our value for the gas constant R, that's going to tell us what our units have to be for pressure, volume, moles, and temperature. We've got to cancel everything out with R. Well, now what we want to find is N. So pressure is in atmospheres. That's the same unit as our constant. We're good there. Volume is in liters. That's the same unit as our constant, so we're good on volume. Temperature, already in Kelvin. It's the same unit as our constant, so we're good there. And N is going to wind up in moles because that's the unit that's in our constant. So when we solve for N, we're going to get PV over RT will equal N. And so now we can substitute our terms in. 0 0.850 atmospheres times 1.25 liters over 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And lastly, we'll multiply by our temperature, 345 Kelvin, and all of that will equal in. So we see that our Kelvin cancels here, our liters cancel, our atmospheres cancel, and because moles is in the denominator of the denominator, it's going to wind up in the numerator after we do all of the division. So now we just plug everything into our calculator. 0 0.850 times 1.25 over 0 0.0821 times 345. N will equal 0, 0.0. 375 moles. This is how many moles of gas we have inside of our sample container.